So, uh, it's, uh, what's the talking tiki head? Yeah, so that's uh, that's uh, Aku Aku is the tiki head, and uh, his the the game kind of takes place because uh, Aku Aku back in the day like locked away his evil twin brother Uka Uka, uh, and that's who you saw a minute ago who was talking to Engine. The big, the big, huge one that looks like your your face in the shadows. Yeah, yeah, that's the face that I, I literally makes me wet the bed as an adult. <laughs> that's why that's why I'm not on camera. One time I fell asleep and I woke up and Drew's was just like looking at me. He's like, you're, "You're beautiful when you sleep." <laughs> Mouth is so soft. I shouldn't. We shouldn't get into that. Yeah, it was a hell of a weekend though. I miss you. <laughs> Oh, beach sex. When will COVID be over? Hey, everybody. It's Nolan North here. Retro Replay. Uh, we're back. It's October 8th, 2020. Yes, it's still 2020. The uh, year of... Um, the hell, I think it was. I think it's in the Chinese. Drew, it's in the Chinese calendar, isn't it? 2020. 2020, you know, year of the rat, year of the rabbit. This is a uh, year of the, the turd in the Chinese calendar. The big, nasty, egg roll turd. Um, yeah, do you know, today we're talking, uh, we're, first of all, I want to address, uh, here's my thing. Here's, you, you want to know what's stupid? Paper straws. <laughs> California got rid of uh, plastic straws. Uh, it's like illegal now. Uh, if you're found with one, you might as well be, uh, you know, carrying uh, a, a, an anaphylactic uh, kid allergic to, you know, peanuts with a jar of Jif. You know, uh, it, you're that evil. Plastic straws. So they're giving out paper straws, which to me is the stupidest thing. Is it, like people didn't watch Mr. Wizard's World when they were kids. Uh, it's like paper and liquid. It, it doesn't work. So I don't know what that what the story is. Paper straws are stupid. Did you say you you you're okay with paper straws? I yeah. I don't want to. I mean, if it's good for the environment, I'm I'm down. Like I. I good for the environment. Listen, hey, let's 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 start with the the biggest problem, which is why are you drinking out of a straw in the first place? Like men, in my opinion, shouldn't drink out of straws. Okay, I'm I'm gonna agree with you on that. <laughs> uh, yeah, a guy, you, you never look cool with a straw. No. But but I'm at the age where I don't need to look cool anymore because I just am cool. Yeah, but I mean, no one's gonna pour me like a glass of bourbon and then put a straw in it, you know, like. No, look, if you're at the bar, you're having a vodka soda, you don't want to sit there going, hey, baby, how you doing? Love that outfit. <laughs> Please, it looks like you're sucking on a tiny chiffon. No one's thinking that. Really? Exactly. You don't want to do that, but if I'm in my car, I can't be doing this, I'm off the road. If I'm in my car, I go through a drive-thru, I get myself an iced tea, and they give me a paper straw, now I have to suck down like a 32 ounces of iced tea, which is a bladder buster, and if I have to do it fast because otherwise the paper just turns into pulp, and now i got pulp in my drink, and now that's gross. It, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. And, and, and the reason, I said, well, why can't I? It's like, oh, well, you know, the sea turtles. Sea turtles? That's the sea turtles. Sea turtles are snorting plastic straws somehow, there's just, there's just, it's just, that was the excuse. Oh, careful. Bless you. Uh, listen, keep the plastic out of the oceans. I get it. It's terrible. I've seen the videos with the, the poor, you know, they have to cut like, uh, you know, the, 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 the thing that holds the six cans together. First of all, be a man, drink out of a bottle. What is this with the cans? It's not, it's not the plastic. We don't need the plastic rings that hold cans if we just drink out of bottles. I'm going to be okay. Don't use paper straws. It's really upsetting. Oh, and by the way, if you try to milk, they gave me one in a milkshake the other day, a smoothie. Almost had an aneurysm. I was like, sucking so hard trying to get, so, that's going to be a meme. See there, you use a spoon. You're a fucking psychopath. <laughs> use a spoon in a milkshake? Yeah. I don't, I don't get a milkshake and then go home and sit and enjoy a milkshake. It's what? in a car. Oh. I can't have my wife know when I'm eating, drinking a milkshake. You sneak the milkshake. <laughs> You sneak it in the car and you put that and they give you the paper straw in California. You know what the thing? I have to go to Arizona now to have a milkshake <laughs> or a cold drink. I have to drive across state lines. I'm like a bootlegger. <laughs> milkshake bootlegger?
That's all I got to say about plastic straws and paper straws. Yes, maybe you don't use paper. No, oh God, I don't want it. And now they sell like steel aluminum straws. Oh, it's recyclable. Clean it. How do you, you cleaning a straw? I'm not going to clean a straw. <laughs> Straws are to be thrown away. Paul's laughing. Paul <laughs> understands. This is a this is a thing that bothers me. This no, is you just... buy the little brush that goes into the straw, and you can clean the uh, well, the metal. You straw. are out of your mind. Yeah, I don't want to kill turtles. What's wrong with not wanting to kill turtles? Well, number one, they're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and number two, you played a turtle. You should love turtles. I played a mutant turtle. That's true. It was mutant. A teenage <laughs> mutant turtle. A teenage mutant ninja turtle. Crime never took a break. You did. What are we doing today, Drew? Tell me. Tell tell me what we're doing so I can tell everybody. Uh, I mean, we're we're going to be playing um, a, a game, a franchise that you're pretty familiar with. I think somewhat familiar with. Um, Ooh. About a, yes. a bandicoot. Still don't know what that is. Uh, uh, yes, playing uh, Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot. We're gonna. We're, I'm, I'm gonna let. I want to show you the third game in the Crash Bandicoot series that was out. Came out on PlayStation. Oh, was I in it? No. No, you weren't. Why, why didn't we? You know, I did a Crash Bandicoot. Why didn't we pick that one? Uh, yeah. I did several of them. You did. I, several. Uh, two. Two or three. Three. Look it up. I, I know I did two or three. Maybe two, I was paid for two or three. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm in them. A lot of times I get cut, but I don't care. Yeah. Uh, yes, playing some Crash Bandicoot. We're gonna look at the uh, one of the earlier ones. Yeah. And and, uh, and then we're gonna we got a we got a demo we got a demo version of uh, Crash Bandicoot Four, <gasps> which is we coming got a out. Demo version. Yeah. That's um, exciting. And, well, by the time this aired, it will already have been released, but uh, we're, we were able to kind of get early hands on it so we could record something and then. Oh, perfect. Put it out there. Perfect. And um, part of that, we want to talk to Crash Bandicoot himself, Jess Harnell. We'll, we'll be talking with him later on. Um, yeah. So it's it's good. It's it's exciting. See, we got we got we got stuff lined up. We got things and and uh, and no no paper straws. So um, let's get to the fun stuff. Let's play a game. Let's play a game. Hey everybody, if you remember in our last couple of videos, we got some special soup from our partners at Raid Shadow Legends, and I promised a special shout out for those of you who were the biggest supporters and joined in the raid. Well, now's the time. Check it out. Here are the top 10 supporters of our raid. That's it. You guys went above and beyond. Thank you so, so much. You guys absolutely rock. Uh, thank you. Thank you a thousand times. Back to the show. Okay, here we go. We have uh, Crash Bandicoot Warped. 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 Oh, uh, okay. I'm a bandicoot and I'm a just a running around. Yeah, so these levels are locked by the the lightning. Hold on, I'm just field. going left. I just want to see. I'm just checking my video. I'll go right. Okay. So, it, yeah, if you go straight to that little castle there, you can... Uh, you know, it's kind of it's kind of weird because, you know, without the... Uh, yeah, the... the the analog, analog stick? Yeah, without the analog stick thing. So I step on one? Why don't you try try jump on, jump into level three? Why do you say that with that? You say that kind of... Did you hear that? Did you hear Drew? Why don't you jump into level three? See, he's Well, like, no, I'm helping you out, because level two is a water level, and water levels in video games are always notoriously difficult. So I'm actually saving you here. <clears throat> I'm helping you out. Me thinks that's a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> do the do the Orange Express. <laughs> I think you'll have more fun. <laughs> We're going to level two. We're going to the eh, notoriously more difficult. I feel I'm ready for a challenge. Let's go. I'm feeling frisky. I want to see. I want to see. Oh, I can spin this. I ain't scared of no fish. Hey. How's that? Just ate your shit. Yeah. Oh, that looks like. Hold on. That looks. That looks like it's gonna ex go explodey time on Daddy. Am 
Am I right? I think I am. Oh, I'm right. Shit. No. Oh, I see what that's doing. Down. Hey, look at him. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Hey. There you go. You know what I was just I was trying to figure out is like uh gonna get the wampa fruit down in this thing because you're good, you're good, you're good. Hey, 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 you will get more ail of me. Hey, come on out, come on out, I, I got you, you break. So now oh, we're making a circle, which is hey. God, I wish I could do that if for real shark. I'm a little bit afraid of sharks, for real. Really? Yeah. I, like I like the beach, but I, I, I have this fear of that of being eaten by shit. I don't want to be eaten by stuff. Especially on this notoriously high level that I'm getting to checkpoints. Yeah, I'm kind of not too shitty at this, kids. Yeah, you're doing pretty good, actually. Wumpa, wumpa, wumpa. Oh, don't get greedy. Wumpa, not apples. Uh, as, as everybody loves to tell us about. Not apples. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I got a cool thing. Oh, that's kind of cool. Woo! I, this notoriously difficult level is a lot of fun, actually. You're touching oh, it, buddy. Shit. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, this thing. This thing is. Oh god. No. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get up. 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 Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down on it. Get down on it. Come on in. Get down on it. If you really want it. Get down. I didn't know I had to go down, but I did it, Drew. Josephine J. Joseph. <laughs> did do it, dude. Uh. Now I don't know if I what I I don't know if I should avoid this or spin it. What do you think? I think you should avoid it. Oh wait, wait. oh oh you oh you best. There you go. Don't touch it with the fin. That, oh, that's one of those things. <laughs> Did you say so? The new game is it something that's similar to this? Yeah. You, you know, I played I played it for a little bit, and uh, I was surprised how. True to it, true to its roots. The yeah, dude, you, you crushed this. Under, I, I had a hard time playing this. I don't know why. It's underwater. You know why? Because I could hold my breath. Yeah. That whole level, I held my breath. Yeah. Whew. All right, we'll give Boneyard a shot, and then uh, I'm not sure what to expect. Oh, he's the crash camp. He's the crash guy. Yeah. Now he's coming at me. Oh right. shit. So see, I don't like this because I don't know if I'm supposed to jump off here or just drop. Uh, either I think works. See, this would be made harder if there's something's chasing me, and I have a feeling that's going to be. Yep, I knew it. What the fuck? Did I say anything? Oh, that's hot. Oh, we burned his ass. There it is. Let's see what's coming. Oh, oh, I made the checkpoint. Sorry. What the hell is a pterodactyl doing? <laughs> Run, dude! Uh, oh, shit. I, I can't. Okay, but people have to understand. The camera that you get to see me on is at the bottom of the screen. Okay. Jump. Oh, yeah, not into the pterodactyl. He took me away. Yeah, your fin, your his. Okay, your so. Lunch. Jump. I. Uh, oh. Shit. <laughs> Jump. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll get around these sons of beach eyes. Yes. There you go. Yeah. Jump. 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 Oh, oh no. I, I want the Wampa fruit, but I don't want the guy with the thing on his face and his neck. It's, uh, uh. Are you made oh. a checkpoint? Oh, and I got Oh, don't jump on that. Oh, shit. What was that? That was TNT. Oh. Oh, so you can jump on it, and it'll set a timer, and then you can run. But don't, don't spin on it. I don't know if I should touch the grass. <laughs> oh, look at that, look at that, I just... So don't what hit about, the nitro. Jump on it or don't? Don't, yeah, it'll blow up and kill you. Blow up, it'll blow up and kill you. Imagine if life was like that. Hey, you don't want to touch that, why? It'll blow up and kill you. Am I going to a mini game, or is he taking me out of the the shit? Yeah, yeah, a little mini game. Bonus level. Oh, I uh, found the bonus level, everybody. Oh, I can jump. Look at that. Look at that there. That's nice. Try to jump. Yeah. Uh, so you could do a slide. 
Uh, by Sir. Oh, look at that! I did it. Oh, nice, dude. I did it. I did it. I did. It. I should go back, right? And drop down and get this Wumpa. So hit circle while you're running. Crawl, 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 crawl. We've all had to crawl. I did it. Okay. Nice. I, I, I'm, I'm digging it. So I'm, uh, oh, f I only got 41 of 66. That's. I see. It's kind of dog shit, isn't it? Yeah, you know. All right. So first playthrough, you're doing really good, actually. Yeah, is that a bat? It's like a vampire bat. Some shit that swims. Oh man, imagine if vampires could swim. That would suck. Actually, maybe they can. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's like an odd thing to be worried about. Oh, quick. So you activate it now. Quick, go. You can destroy those boxes or jump on them for a time limit. I like, I like Wumpa Foot. Uh, I'm just gonna jump, I guess. I don't know where I'm going. Ah, oh, oh no. This looks like part where those dinosaurs used to be here. Now they're gone. Checkpoint. Dirty, oh no! I played this part already. These sons of bitches trying to eat me. Keep running, you little bandicoot. The grass definitely slows you down, I've noticed. Oh shit. Oh, 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 that's Nitro. I don't want to hit that. No. Oh, I'm Pete. Oh, pieces of Bandicoot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is filthy. Oh, God. Wow. Wow. You're, ah, you're, Bandicoot. you're pretty good at this. I'm pretty good at Bandicoot, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what's so funny? I'm a grown man, and actually, this, this really doesn't make an <laughs> impact in my life, but it does. I don't, maybe that's what games all are about, like just new challenges. I, I this is, I like being good at things. Yeah. <laughs> it's the little things. It is, what, what, it's what my wife says. Hey, look what happened right there. This is nice, analog stick, I like that. And here we are, Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. Uh, let's see, um, Snow Way Out, <laughs> clever. Dino Dash, ship. Happens. So, uh, what are we doing? I, I, think. I think you should jump right into Dino Dash because it's uh, there's well, a little bit of. We just left the last one. Do, uh, dinosaurs used yeah. to live here. There you go. Now they're gone. Hey, look at that. There's a watch out for walking. Missed that one, didn't you? Uh, all right, Dino Dash. I like dinosaur. I like running from dinosaurs. Okay, so I'm just check. I want to check my. I'm gonna check my buttons. X is jump. Uh, the, the oh look at the spin has like is upgraded to like. Uh, Looks like one of those 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 tops. You forget it. What does triangle do? It does dog shit. So the controls. Oh, are this one is like put it in my butt. <laughs> put it in my butt. <laughs> that's how. That's how he, he's like. Say so he walks over here. He's like, uh, uh, I gotta pee. Uh, that's how my dogs pee. My dogs don't lift their legs. Are they boy dogs or uh, girl dogs? No, I don't know. He just tie. He gets tired. Look at this. This is the slowest ever. Oh. <laughs> ah, what am I doing? What is wrong with it? What are you doing, man? This is it's so shitty sometimes. Uh, I just don't know what to do. No, man. I mean, if you there's like a pattern, and if you don't learn the patterns, I, it's kind of like a live die repeat situation where. Look at now. I got. I guess I jump on their heads, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I missed. You don't. Sometimes you don't have to go so fast. You can like. Hang back and find your your footing. Okay, so okay, that that's not a bad idea. No, nope, don't you spit that shit at me? I'm gonna spin kick you into Jason Statham's mouth. <laughs> crash! <laughs> this is called crash and die. Crash and burn is is what this should be called for me. Come on, man. I hate being shitty at stuff. Yeah, get it, get, get, get out of here. Don't touch that. Oh, that's Nitro. I yeah. remember that. Remember? Hold on, oh, it's up there. Oh, shit. Wow, I just... Uh, no, the beginning? Yeah, you didn't hit a checkpoint yet. Yeah. God, all right, you know what? You're right. Let's just slowly roll. This, this, this is guy... Ah, shit! Shit, I gotta get the time, I can't. So see, the thing is, is like, you... <laughs> Joe, Joe, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. 
<laughs> you're, you're fine, man. Yeah. There you go. Boom. The cool thing is these guys don't seem to mind you standing on their, their, their head. There you go. Ah. So uh, watch, there's a TNT box. You see that TNT box? Don't stand. Oh, okay. You, you live. This guy can shoot his yid a long way. <laughs> yeah, he can. Oh, you're almost at, see that C box? That's a checkpoint. Like that. Okay, so this is a really cool part of the game. You see that blue, like, glowing? Do I jump into that? Yeah, yeah, we'll just jump near it. It'll, like, activate. Right, hit. So that says nitro. What do I do to that? Oh, so right now, because it's, like, blue and glowy and ghosty, you can't it, you can't blow it up. So blow up, get, kill all the boxes, or destroy all the boxes. Now hit R2. Yeah, and now you've activated, like, the time vortex, right? So you can now pull things into time. And if you hit R2 again, it'll bring it, it, things go back. You see, and even plants and stuff like will disappear and, and reappear. So it's really cool. It's got a, it adds a new dynamic to the game. Yeah, yeah just just go forth, forward there onto that, right, onto that, onto that stem, onto that branch. What? See oh, that? I didn't see the branch. So jump, jump R2, jump R2, uh, un R2. So it's a, it's you're gonna have to like jump. If you want the box, you have to hit R2, then you have to hit R2 again to get rid of the plant so you can jump through it. Okay, wait. wait. Your mind exploded right there. Oh, yeah. wait, wait. Did you see my head? My head just went... You totally I just started to drool a little. <laughs> Here we go, going down and jump, jump, and then we're going... Jump, jump. R2, jump. Jump, and then we're going... Jump, jump. R2, Here jump. We and we're going to jump, jump. And then we're going R2, to jump. And... Jump. Oh, I had to hit that thing, didn't I? Uh, you, you have to go below them. So you have to circle to go under. Oh, okay. All right, I thought I could spin kick him. Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe. Which is now called the state. And then I spin kick this, and then I state them that. That's right, because I hate boxes and bandicoots, you little bastard. Jump, yeah? Jump, I. There you go. Jump, I. Jump, I. Jump, R2, jump, jump. I. Jump, I. Jump. R2, jump. jump. Circle. Oh, yeah. X, come back up. Hey, what the hell am I looking at? R2. Uh, R2, uh, R2, you're good. All right, whatever. <laughs> hey, is it? Oh, was a checkpoint. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's let's just batter our head in. Can I R2 for get those mushrooms out of the way? Oh shit. Oh, you're a crash cam now. Guess uh, what's about to happen? So. Oh, good thing I fell in that shit because that thing was gonna eat me. <laughs> wow, much, and by the way, anybody who knows me knows Nolan would much rather, let's get down all that Wumpa, because that shit is delicious. It's like an apple, but not. Oh, shit. Run! I'm running, I'm running. Run. I don't even lock the boxes. Run! Don't, don't! Oh. I didn't mean to touch it! Oh. oh, he touched it. Yeah, he... Fucking dinosaurs. Yeah, this they're... is why, this is why I'm glad they're extinct. How's that? Just like, what? you know what? I bet it was the plastic straws I got him. Oh, I hope it was the plastic straws. <laughs> Some plastic straws, baby. If we had, if back then there were uh, not plastic straws, dinosaurs would still be with us. Dude, you're doing good. You're doing good. Watch out! Oh, 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 oh my God! Oh my God! Oh. And I let him touch it. Oh, he got you. He's in his. You're in his mouth. See? Oh well, that's a little. <laughs> that's a little. Oh, you didn't even get to a checkpoint? No. You, you were close. The coop. Shit. All right. Uh, by the way, you can't touch the mushrooms because they literally are yeah. like magic mushrooms. Yeah, they daze you. Yo, you got this. You got this. Don't touch the mushrooms. Then, watch out. Oh, you're doing Oh, yeah. Jump. Watch out. Nitro. <laughs> I'm the worst backseat gamer. Uh, you got this. Keep going. Oh, nice, dude. Checkpoint! Checkpoint by Tycho. Oh, what's in this box? I just wish I could move a little. I'm gonna guess you don't want to go in the green shit. Yeah. Un uh, unfortunately, it doesn't turn into you, and that green stuff probably should turn you into like a mutant bandicoot, but it doesn't. Oh, look at I did it. I did that, though. You did. All right, so. Huh. Don't jump. There you go. Yeah. Whew. Checkpoint. Nice. <laughs> oh shit. I don't know what I'm doing. Jump. Jump spin. Run! 
slide. Run. I'm skipping this. Oh, you're doing really good, dude. Oh, I just tried to get it. <laughs> because there's a dinosaur chasing me, Drew. I know, it's intense. Uh, we're gonna get it, Daddy's car, and he's cruising just as fast as he can now. Fast as he can. Uh, you got this. You got. Oh, run! Shit. Run! Slide! Jump! 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 Spin! Ugh. Why didn't he eat the other guy? That's a big, fat, juicy dino flying dinosaur, and you're you're going after a little scrawny rodent. <laughs> Why would he do that? Oh. Uh, well, this is Jess Harnell's game. Uh, and we could uh, certainly ask him some advice for this game as I move forward. I'm probably going to be a guy who tells me to avoid mushrooms or not. Oh, uh, maybe jump onto his head. Jump. Oh, you, oh, 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 no, what are you doing? Oh, God, you did it. Uh, he could still be coming for me. Checkpoint, get that checkpoint box. <gasps> oh. Oh, my God. I think we, we did it. Dying. And my thumb needs to be iced. Let's talk to our good friend, the real Crash Bandicoot, Jess Harnell, and see what he thinks. Jess Harnell, as I live and breathe, how are you? Dude, I'm better for seeing you. I'm hanging in there doing this crazy stuff, and I hope all the people that are watching you right now are doing the same. Things are very, very good, man. You how know, about you? You know all the right things to say. It's because I, I got a prompter. I'm, I'm reading all this. Oh, you, so you got the scripts I sent. Perfect. Y yes, I got them, and they look great. No, I look great. Can we do can we Oh, cut? yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is never going to work. Hey, so listen. So today um, I decided, uh, you know, Crash uh, Bandicoot, new game, just, uh, just been released uh, by the time this airs. Uh, just been released, and uh, you returning is Crash Bandicoot, right? Somebody had to, <laughs> and you wanted too much money. <laughs> that, that's not true, but I, I, but you know, I was, I, I, I got to be honest, with you, I wasn't invited to do Doctor Engine again. I did Doctor Engine with you a few times, on. That's crack. right, you did. Yeah, and I think, but they got, you know, I think they used, they went back to before me. I think they used Corey Burton for this one, and Corey's a genius, so I love him, and, and that's all well, good. Well, you know, speaking. Of Speaking of genius, before we even get into the meat of this thing, I, I just got to say, uh, you know, Nolan and I go way back, and, and people have always asked me about, you know, getting into voiceover, and always, it's so hard, it's a closed club, and I always say, listen, man, great people always find their way in. I remember we did a table read together, man, for a Ninja Turtles thing. Yeah, that's you remember right. this, like, 20 years ago? With, me and Ga you. with Galen and Walker. You, Galen Walker, and yeah. you were basically just breaking in. I remember walking out with you and going, dude, you are going to kick ass because because then as now you had the chops and you're funny as hell and your voices are great and oh, look man. at you all these years later you got this and your pool cleaning business and you're on fire and i'm proud of you man. you know what the pool cleaning business uh we've actually <laughs> upgraded to pools and spas uh nice which which, nice. which in hollywood is is really difficult uh I know. <laughs> um they uh th we did one in the hills that was full of jelly <laughs> it wasn't even water that was, that was that was my pool, Nolan. You're still doing my pool. You know that. That was your pool. <laughs> yeah. I have a couple. I have a couple things I need to get back to you then. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just have to let me just crash. just let me dislodge them first. Uh, oh, thank you. Uh, no, but we so we, we we tried out. Actually, we went back and played one of the early Crash games, and then went uh, we're uh, trying out the new one, and it, it's just amazing, and the performances are great, yeah. and it's and it's just it's just fun because we've gone back through, uh, you know, the sh our show isn't always based around gaming, but we like to go back and look at some of the old games, uh, the, you know, the fans like that kind of stuff. But, you know, as we move forward, I said, you know, there's people don't realize how, how much, you know, games for us were, were like a new opportunity, you know, because, I, you know, sure. it, it, I, and I, that's how I kind of broke in because then I wanted to get into the animation. And now you, right. you know, um, I mean, I was fan of yours for years. You and Thanks. Paulson and Tress, as, as you know, just just Animaniacs alone. And then, 
But I mean, I remember. I mean, I I could list forever your credits. It, it's it's ridiculous. Um, but, yeah. but but it's so cool to you know. I, and I tell people this. It's like it's amazing to be fans of people. Like I was a fan of yours or Paulson or Welker. And 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 then like we know each other. We're friends. You know. It's like I can yeah. call you and say, "Can you come do this?" And you're like, "Yeah." You know. Um, heck, yeah, heck yeah, buddy. So, you're absolutely right about that. That's the beautiful thing. Yeah. But but one of the things that I found was interesting about you, and I want to talk about this, is. You know, I remember at Galen Walker, who, who did the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Turtle movie, we all went up to his house, and Kevin Michael Richardson was there, and He's you started guy. you started singing, and I was like, oh, oh my god, oh my god, I had no <laughs> idea, and then I was blessed a few years ago. Uh, we were at a con together in Salt Lake City, and I for the first time got to see Rock Sugar, your band. Yeah, yeah. And I want to talk yeah, about yeah. this. I want you to tell me because I know Thank there's you. new stuff coming up. It, it blew me away. Um, Thank you, bud. So, well, as always, man. As always, it's it's just you know do, doing these things is always fun, and doing it with you, some people like you, is even better because it's just like catching up with a friend, like you said, yeah. you know. And the Rock Sugar thing, basically, for those of you who don't know about it, it started kind of as a goof. Me and my uh, my best buddy, who's a guitar player, said, "Wouldn't it be funny if there was like an '80s hair metal band like Def Leppard, Guns N' Roses, Poison, and they got shipwrecked at the end of the '80s on an island and had nothing to listen to but pop records from the '80s and became brainwashed into thinking that '80s pop equaled '80s metal, right? So it's it's a really strange concept, but it's funny. And the first thing we put together was a mashup of Metallica's Enter Sandman with Journeys Don't Stop Believing, and you had so you had the band playing Enter Sandman, very heavy, very true to the original." And then I come in singing Don't Stop Believing" a la Journey, like Steve Perry, over the Metallica thing. And it creates like this whole new pop metal mashup thing. Just a small town girl. Well, we just did it as a goof. But the video ended up getting millions of hits on YouTube. And before you knew it, we were opening up literally on stage for bands like ACDC and Aerosmith and Linkin Park and Def Leppard in front of 20,000, 40,000, 80,000 people. And it became this really big thing. Well, the album, the first album, all of which is available on YouTube, we actually, I don't know if I told you this, no, we can't sell the first album online because, as you do, I do a lot of impressions of people. And there was one singer who heard our stuff and felt like it was a little bit too close and he didn't like it. He thought it actually was him. We had to go to court and prove it wasn't his voice, but he got an injunction that we can't sell the stuff online. However, we can still play live and do all that. But you can see all the stuff here, all the stuff on YouTube, okay. put in Rock Sugar, a bunch of stuff comes up. Well, that was 10 years ago we made the first record. We said, you know, you want to do a second one? We had some ideas. So we started to do this second record. And all I can tell you, buddy, and I'm very objective about my work. Me and you've talked about it a lot. You're the yep. same way. You know, we work on stuff. We always try to do our best, as I'm sure everybody watching you tries to do their best. But, you know, you walk away from a project and you go, that was okay. It's all, it's all right. Or it's not, this isn't a great show. Or other times you go, this was really good. Well, the second rock, I was really, really proud of the first Rock Sugar album. The second album eats it for breakfast. It destroys it. It's so much more epic really? in scope. It's so much bigger. Yeah. Now we're not only mashing 80s metal with 80s pop, we're mashing 80s metal with Adele and Bruno Mars and Katy Perry and all these contemporary pop artists too. Oh, so yeah, so it's a whole new thing. And like I, I think on the first album, the most complex song had four or five tunes in it. On this album, I think there's one song that has 11 songs in five minutes that, that goes in and out of each other perfectly. And it's like it's like our Bohemian Rhapsody. This whole album is like our Bohemian Rhapsody. So if you like this kind of stuff, check out Rock Sugar because it, it'll kick your butt. So Rock Sugar, that, that's crushing. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but you seem yeah. like like you're... I mean, you're an amazingly talented actor. You know all this stuff. But is is music like your heart? Is that where you're like... Is that where you really are like... Uh, my pet you're deep in your soul or is it or is it a good combo dude you know what it's, these these are all great questions and it's like that's my background but i'll tell you something beautiful about life i'm sure it applies to you and yours and it applies to all the folks that are watching us right now too a lot of the time with life you know you start on a road and you think the road's going to lead you this way right and the road ends up leading you maybe this way and, and maybe for a while you go i really want to go there but a few years later, you find out you're exactly where you ought to be and you're doing exactly what you ought to be doing. Yeah, you know, my, my whole deal with my life, bro, from long before I met you, from the time I was 15 years old, I thought, OK, 
I'm going to be a rock star. I got rock star clothes. I got a good haircut. I got a lot of jewelry. I'll be a rock star. This is going to be great. And I angled my whole life at that. Well, I became a studio singer, sang hundreds and hundreds of jingles for McDonald's and Reebok and Coca-Cola and you name it. And all of a sudden people said, you know, you should try voiceover. And I'm like, what is that? <laughs> and they said, oh, you know, and they filled me in. And my first big job was doing Splash Mountain, the ride at Disneyland and Disney World, which is being, you know, d dismantled these days. But that was still my introduction. Then I got the job replacing, because I do voice matches, as you do. I got a job doing uh, Roger Rabbit for Disney and going, oh, Jay, but I don't know what I'm going to do, and all that kind of stuff. And I became Roger Rabbit. And one thing led to another. Well, years and years later, I find out, because I'm friends with a lot of guys from 80s rock bands, and I find out that those careers, Nolan, you know, God bless them, man. If you're lucky, they last five years. Yeah. You know, I've been doing voiceover now since, what has it been, like 1990? So 30 years? You know, I think you started like five years after, I maybe maybe eight or nine years. I don't know, but not not too oh. long after me. Uh, probably, and you're 10, doing probably 10, you 12 go. years after. Yeah. I mean, I think. There I, you go. Yeah. I'll, I'll hit on your question one qu one more quick time, then I'll wrap it up with something nice here. But, you know, is music my heart? Music was it is and always has been a huge part of my heart. But a heart is a big thing, and it can hold a lot of room, you know? Yeah. So it's like, it's like uh, you know, music is definitely part of it. I am just so blessed, man, that I have made my living from day one using my voice, which was just a, a gift from above. And I'm so grateful because I know how many people are tremendously gifted and sometimes they don't get a chance to show that you know so yeah. as long as i'm doing that i'm stoked man you know i wrote <clears throat> i've written a book and that's going to be coming out and that's crazy and all these good things you know but the, coming back to your thing i just want to wrap it up and it's so cool so you came up watching us right and animaniacs that's my first big series that i was a regular on right well since then as have you and, and people by the way people feel like you're their best friend because they literally play with you all the time they you're in their room <laughs> i wish with it. I know, well, you know, but it's like in the same thing with my video game stuff too. They 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 play with us, so we're like friends to these folks, and it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. But come up watching Animaniacs. Well, you know, if you work consistently in our business, man, then for the rest of your life, people are going to come up every from every five year generation of yep. kids, and they're going to go. I grew up with you because I watched Doc McStuffins. I watched Sophia the First. I watched Drawn Together. I, you know, I played this. I worked on that. I, this was my favorite show in college. And it's like it just keeps going and going. And now, yeah. you know, Animaniacs is returning with a reboot, so a whole new generation of kids are going to grow up all over again. And all I do all day is just sit here and go, "Thank you, Hallelujah, man." It's right. cool. Yeah, you know, I, I feel the same way. You know, and and that's the the great yeah. thing about being, you know. Um, you know, Paulson, it was like that. Jeff Glenn Bennett, you know, those guys that you might not oh. always be one of the main characters, but you're there in everything. And I, I mean, I, I get all kinds of comments sometimes about like, I'm watching Family Guy and there's Nolan North's name. I, I like, And I didn't even know who he was. I'm like, good, because you weren't supposed to. I'm doing whatever exactly I was doing. Exactly right. And, and we I, have the ultimate it's the best job. Yeah. It really is. It's it a is. great job. And, and it is. It's really rewarding. And I love going to conventions as you do and you meet people and you get to, you know, oh, yeah. see and miss that this year, you know, with, with COVID. I mean, that's, that's been oh, tough, but you know, and I, and I got to say as a Nolan North fan, for those of you who have not checked it out, there's a thing called twisted tunes. You can see them online. And several times mm. me and Nolan, I I've been blessed enough to work on these things with Nolan. And I like to sit next to Nolan, which is a blessing and a curse because he makes me laugh so freaking hey. hard, especially. Let me with this. Hey, hey. hey. Uh, Chris Christopherson is my personal uh, Jesus. I don't even know what that was. I remember the first. I, I remember the first time we did that, and I got up and walked away, and you got up and what brought me back to the table, I'm like, "Don't touch me." You went to take a leak at the back of the stage, and right? I pull you back to your chair, right? We yeah, just as, he, was, he was very much in character as Gary Busey, folks. He wasn't doing it as normal. Yeah, but well, you, you, you gotta you, you, you gotta stick, stay with the bit, folks. You gotta do it. Buy in, man. Buy in. Buy Come in. in. <laughs> Don't sell until it's over. I, I used to go until my dad would be like, "Now you're pushing it," and then I'd have to stop. <laughs> Because I've gotten trouble. And that, but now you're now you're pushing it, and, and it bought you a house. So congratulations. Um. So yeah. So so we did. We got into Crash, the, uh, one of the <clears throat> earlier ones, like Game Three out of the series. Then we just put in the new one that that has just been released. Um, that franchise has been around forever. Um, and, I know, man. and you've been the guy 
Um, I mean, here's a question. I'm not a huge gamer, and and this 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 vehicle has been allowed me to do it. Have you ever got to watch them play it or play Crash yourself, dude? It's a funny question, and people ask me like at cons and stuff. They say, "Hey, man, how would you feel about doing like a giveaway where the winner gets to play Crash against you?" And I said, "I'm happy to do anything to help anybody, man." I said, "But the only problem with that is they're going to beat me in four seconds because I yeah. don't know the only kind of video games that I know how to play are fighting ones. I used to play like Tekken with Kevin Richardson all the time and beat the crap out of him, which is great because it made because he would get Tekken. upset. I would just be pissed. Like, nice. Yeah, Tekken. Love. To, I love. I love some Tekken, dude." I'll throw down in some tech. Uh, I'll tell but, you what. I'll tell you what. Hold on. Sidebar. When this whole COVID thing ends, I'm going to get you here in person on the set. We'll play Tekken. Deal? Done. I'll be laughing the whole time, but we'll have a great time. I I'm going to have to practice. Make so, sure I practice. That, make a note. <laughs> Stumpy's making what I notes. Do is I, I basically find one good move, and I just keep beating you over the head with it consistently. And then when I find one, you can't get around, and then it's, it's all over. But it's really fun. As far as Crash, dude, like you, I mean – you know, you're one of the kings of video games, but I've worked on a bunch of them. I've worked on Crash and Spyro the Dragon and Hearthstone and World of Warcraft. I've never played any of them. And it's not because I don't have the utmost respect for the people who make them and who play them. It's just because I be, you hand me the controller and I'm like, ah, ah, then, then the game's well, over. Well, that's and the I thing. Go. Well, when we were kids, man, it was a button and a joystick, you know, and that's now, now that's you're that's like, great. I don't know what to do with all this. Um, I'm, no. I'm getting, I am getting a little bit, I mean, everybody, by the way, is going to laugh when I say that I'm getting a little <laughs> bit better, buddy. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see guys. Animaniacs is coming back with Tress McNeil, Rob November. Paulson in November. And of course, Jess Harnell, uh, you, you will be looking out for a book. We're going to be looking out for yep. rock sugar, uh, vote for Jess Harnell, November 4th. Or third, Come on. whenever it is, let's put him on the You're ballot. Not vote for Kanye, vote for me, because I'm next to Kanye on the ballot. <laughs> Yeah, you, you will. I think you. I think you. You're gonna be okay. Uh, I'll be all right. I, I think you'll be okay. Uh, Jess Arnold, thanks so much, buddy. I appreciate you taking the time. Um, love you, and I hopefully we'll 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 be back together here on the uh, on set or at a con near you doing twisted tunes and having fun. Dude, say hi to your beautiful family. Thank you guys for listening to us today. I'd love to say hi to you online on social media. And Nola, thanks for having me. I appreciate it, buddy. We're going to put all your socials up. You guys follow Jess Harnell, uh, Rock Sugar, everything he has to do. Uh, most genuine, I uh, mean, you know, love you, pal. Thanks for joining us. Love you, Nola. Be well, man. And good, God bless everybody and love your family, buddy. You too. Back at you. See you, pal. So today we have something special. Uh, we have two of our famed replayers. We have James Helioc and Brandy Hello. Brown. Uh, and of course, Peggy McGrath is uh, here to uh, moderate and make sure that um, there are no hijinks or cheating. Keeps us in line and makes sure that the Europeans uh, aren't offended by anything I do. Uh, we are playing a little form <laughs> of a uh, little replayer game. Um, uh, I guess I can say it's based off like the end of what we call here a family feud type thing, but it's just, we're going to call it uh, five questions with the replayers or something stupid. I'm thinking of a number between <laughs> one and 20. James, go. 14. Brandy. 13. 13. 14. You bet. I it was fourteen. I, oh. I doubled. How did he know that? Like I wow. doubled the seven in my head. You're, you're simple. <laughs> Clever. You know, it's, I would have done the same. Wow. He's, he spent. He spent a lot of time. With yeah. Me. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, so, yeah, would fair. you like to go? Would you like to go first? And uh, know the yeah. Score? Sure. I'll. Yeah. Okay. I'll go first. Okay. Get it out the way. <laughs> Here we go. Are you ready mm. for the first ever edition of Five Questions with the Replayers for points and no money? James, no are you money? ready? No, there is no money. God, uh, nobody told there me is that. no money. I, I mean, unless I can find change in these cushions. Pagan lied. Just kidding. Are you ready? Pagan. <laughs> yes, absolutely, Pagan will sir. be Go passing out the money. I want to ask questions, damn it. James, here we go first. Mm -hmm. Go. 30 seconds on the clock. In which place are you told to use your inside voice? Oh, for me, everywhere. But um, uh, library. Uh, what would you find in a haunted house? Ghosts. What would you find at the North Pole? 
a pole. Okay. What do you do before going to bed? You don't want to know the answer to that. And finally, what makes you healthy and strong? Exercise. Okay, stop the clock. Brandy, are you ready for your five sure. questions? Sure. Here on yes, this yes, special yes. edition of Five <laughs> Questions with the Replayers. <laughs> Number, here you go. Ready? First question. What does a dog do? Poops. Uh, name something that comes in pairs. Um, shoes. Name something you can find in outer space. Comets. Name things that are at the beach. Seashells. Finally, name something you miss about school. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. Cause the clock, we have our <laughs> questions. Okay. So first we're going to go to James. We asked him, in which place are you told to use your inside voice? James said, library. Number one answer, library, 30 points for James right there. Uh, uh, number two, he asked, what would you find in a haunted house? He said, ghosts. Survey says, <laughs> there's no survey. Uh, number one answer again, James, two for two. Number one answer, ghosts for 24 points, total of 54 now. Uh, cobwebs, spiders, other stuff. It wouldn't be very uh, haunted my, if there weren't any. My grandmother. Um, <laughs> wow. Well, she's dead, so that's a ghost. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Very, very interesting answer from James in the third question. Name something you would find at the North Pole. He said a pole. <laughs> a zero there, for that. Uh, Santa Claus. There's actually Claus. one there. That's the annoying Santa thing. There really Claus. is one. Santa <laughs> Claus. Is there? Have you seen too many children's globes? Um, <laughs> there aren't. There, no. Uh, there's Santa Claus and elves and snow. Uh, top answers. Uh, name something you do before going to bed. And among the numerous chance, uh, choices of, like, brush your teeth. Yep, brush your teeth and all that. Put on your yep. PJs. Read mm -hmm. a story. Take a <laughs> bath. Lock yep. the doors. He said, you don't want to know. That's a zero, PJ. Mm. Um, even though we do. <laughs> <laughs> You're still not going to find out. That, I oh, know. I know people. I, I know people. Know. I'll make calls later. I'm close with these people. Finally, he said, uh, name something that makes you healthy and strong. Number one answer was eating your vegetables. He said oh. exercise, uh, which I'm going to actually give. They said playing outside. That's exercise. 14 points. Uh, 14 points for that, giving him a grand total of, PJ, 68 points. Okay, Brandy, you have to beat 68 points. Let's see how it goes uh, <laughs> for you. What does a dog do? Brandy, do you remember your answer? <laughs> oh, yeah. What, what did you I say? I have three dogs. There's a lot of poop. Bark. You know. Bark. <laughs> uh, yeah, bark. Yeah. Was that, well, that's a zero because no, the, uh, bark, <laughs> scratch, lick, roll over, and play fetch, which incidentally might be what James does before bed. Mm. Uh, I thought we things. weren't going to talk about that, Nolan. Um, I, maybe that's the same question. Uh, I'm sorry. The dogs do poop, but that's not part of this. Um, let's see if you can redeem yourself. Uh, name things that come in pairs. She said shoes. Number one answer, 24 points. Next question. Name something you find in outer space. You said comets. And uh, no, that's a zero. Uh, the sun, the moon, stars, planets. It's spaceships, but no comets. Uh, spaceships. 14 people said spaceships. I like spaceships. Uh, you, do you like spaceships, Drew? I do, yeah. You speak when you're spoken to. Spaceships <laughs> are a sci-fi thing. Uh, that's a zero. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, name things that are on the beach. She said seashells. Yes, seashells. 18 points. Number one answer was the ocean, which technically isn't at the beach. <laughs> That's the beach, that the is ocean. The beach. So it, exactly, <laughs> that's the ocean. Uh, but seashells, seashells. I didn't write these. These were we found these questions. Seashells for eighteen points. And finally, name something you miss about school, Brandy. I don't think you did well. <laughs> Nothing is not the answer of uh, an honor student, is it? No. If it makes you feel Sorry. better, that would have been my answer to uh, Brandy. <laughs> well, actually, the number one answer is friends, and that is certainly mm. would not be my number one oh. answer. Um, no. <laughs> nothing wins. Nothing wins in my heart for the funniest answer. Uh, friends, teachers, teachers, 
Teachers. Mm. Teachers. Recess. Now, I can get around that one. Um, but no, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Brandy they asked ended the up wrong with. People. How, how much? What did Brandy end up with? <laughs> 42. James earlier. James, James, your James takes <laughs> the first ever edition of Retro Replays version of Five Questions with the Replayers. So, uh, <laughs> we are a top notch service. It's a work in progress. Guys, it's a, yeah, yeah. <laughs> welcome to work in progress. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your host, Gavin McLeod from TV's Love Boat. I don't even know what this is, what I'm talking about anymore. Uh, guys, thank you so much for joining us. It was lovely to see you. Uh, oh, no, we'll get you. We're going to put up all your socials and all your good stuff. Um, oh, thank you. Uh, stay out of all the, your uh, Randy, stay out of the, the, the rain and the poop and the hurricane. Yep. I can't imagine when the floods hit but where that poop, it, you know, people know. <laughs> Poop rises. The poop rises. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, no. James, continue with your stuff. Uh, you know, voice actor, hire him. Please do. Ro rock steady. It's extremely in, cheap. In I'm Britain. a lot cheaper than him. I mean, if Activision's listening, just, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help you. <laughs> I know. Yeah. And you're trying to take food from my baby's mouth. It would be Super a pleasure. Super talented guy. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much, Peg, and thank you for moderating and making sure uh, I... Don't do anything. You didn't that offend any banned. Europeans. Congratulations. Have me turned around at the border, sent back home. Yeah. Love you all. Okay. Thanks for joining us. Thank you us. so much. <laughs> Been a pleasure. See you guys. Thanks, guys. Take Bye. care, guys. Hey, guys, it's time for our photos on the bar. First up, we have Trenton Quinn. There he is. Looking like he's got that little sneer, got that little De Niro snare, or he smells a fart. I don't know. Uh, then Matthew Snyder. Check out Matthew Snyder. Got the Uncle Noli point. I dig it. Uh, retro replay shirt. Thank you so much for your support. And finally, Texas Juggalo One, the Juggalo himself. That's Corey. Also, it's our member shout out time. At the get good level, we have KJN Gaming. That's Keith, the guy with the greatest collection of collections of any collector's collection. Uh, Carly Boyce. Abby Bowley and Katie Gein or Jean. I, I hate if I mispronounce your name. I'm so sorry. I'll do it the second time. Put phonetics for me. I don't know. Uh, at the Drew Soup level, we have Cateration all by herself. Catherine F. Cateration. And finally, at the Alted Beast level, we have Cassandra Wynn, Amy K., Anna Peterson. And Rubber Tex Raccoon, which I swear is a sex toy. I hope it is. This is your shout out for October 8th. Ah! Woo! Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. Unless everything in my house catches on fire. Ah, I gotta go ice my thumb.